my name is Carla. And I'm Amy, and we are both interns here at Northern Nevada Ray Family Foundation from the University of Nevada, Reno. And today we will be walking you through a cloud snack. You will need blue frosting, a sour belt, a graham cracker, and marshmallows. And a spoon. And a spoon. So if you don't have one, go grab one from your kitchen right now. Then you will first start by taking some of your frosting and scooping it onto your graham cracker. And then spread it around with the back of your spoon. Like that. And you can put as much or as little as you want. It's up to your preference. And then you're gonna grab your sour belt. You're gonna make an arc shape, kind of like a rainbow shape, and glue it to your graham cracker. The frosting will serve as like a glue. Like so. And then take just a little bit more frosting and put it on the end here. So glue down your marshmallows. There. And then take your marshmallows and put them on the end of your little belt to serve as little clouds. And that's it. Since you will be getting enough supplies to make two of these crafts, we suggest that for your second one, you get creative with it. You can make another rainbow with little marshmallows or um, kind of come up with your own design for the ingredients that we've given you. Yeah, so I'm gonna think outside of the box a little bit and I'm gonna make a monster. So while you're making your graham cracker, maybe you can do something different or do the same thing as me. But yeah, so I will be spreading frosting on the graham cracker. And I'm thinking of using the marshmallows for teeth, but I'm also thinking of using them for eyes. So we'll see. I think, I think I'm gonna stick with using them for teeth. And I'm gonna rip a little bit of the sour belt and use them as eyes since it's a monster i don't really care if it's perfect or if it's symmetrical honestly i'm just putting them wherever and then i'm thinking of using the sour belt as a tongue but we'll see how it turns out okay i'm gonna make the teeth different they kind of look the same, but I went for a little bit different. And then maybe, oh, maybe I should place the tongue under the marshmallows like this. And then on top. Since I have these two mini marshmallows left over, I'm thinking of putting them at the end of the tongue to show that the monster's eating them or, yeah, swallowing them. And then I'm also going to place the other marshmallow too. And if you look, it looks like it's eating it. 